You know, because there's a couple things that you can do that I'm doing, but I'm not maybe explaining. So, some submissions and positions and techniques are not built for certain body types versus certain body types. So if you have short arms, and you're dealing with somebody that's a little bit on the girthier side, it's gonna be a little bit trickier to finish the darts, okay? So when I'm here, I wanna make sure, number one, that he's already coming up for, for an under, okay? I'm gonna get here and I wanna, at bare minimum, put him on his side here, okay? And everything is rooted in pressure, but my head is up high, because my goal is to control the position here, okay? One thing you can do is you can push the head, okay? When you push the head offline of the spine right here, okay? He is strongest here, or even here, okay? But if you push the head right here, his whole structure is weakened here, okay? Because what do you feel that you would need to do slowly with? Probably free my head. Exactly, this first instinct is to free the head, okay? Because I wanna control that head, okay? Because the more I control that head, and you see my knee is constantly driving in. This leg has to be bent to enable me to drive forward. If this leg is completely straight, it may help me from getting pushed that way, but it's completely, basically useless. It's almost no different than being down on the knee. You have to always have the legs slightly bent so that you can begin to engage and create that pressure. I can only create a certain amount of pressure for a person on the bottom with gravity. A lot of pressure from side control is lateral pressure. That lateral pressure is created by your legs and you wanna drive your hips into them, okay? Because if I'm here, I'm just pressured down, right, John? But if I'm here, you feel more pressure, right? Okay, this enables me to push his head down here and then stretch this hand here and I clamp it while I'm pushing this down, okay? The other thing is this, this form still keeps pressure down while I guide my tricep to this hand. Oftentimes, if I stay up like this, it's harder, I gotta reach more. So you go here and you can go, like you scoop it under. So you're here, you go under and my knee drops and my left shoulder drops and it's like you swoop underneath it. Because what happens is, is that if you're here and your hand is just a little bit available here, I'm probably, and he's wanting to open up the hip here, okay? It's gonna be hard for me to put my tricep in my hand. Because, slowly lean your head back this way. Because as I'm doing this, he's gonna pull his head back, 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 and it, and it removes it. So here, I don't have a dart, my hand, my, I'm getting like a wrist lock here, okay? So what I wanna do is, I wanna create pressure this way here, keep this down, and then my elbow drops, so it goes under and up, okay? And my shoulder drops, so I'm here, so look, the shoulder goes and come up. So it's almost like you're, you're here, and this elbow goes down towards the mat, and it scoops from underneath. So now I have a good amount of pressure to finish. Okay. Also, I prefer your knee be closer to them here, okay? because it's harder for them to bring that arm into position. If you're out here, okay, you have less. Yeah, see, he, he moves it across, and now it's almost like I already, I already lose the the darts if you if he gets his hand in front here. From here, I would just rather opt to go roll like a head arm triangle from here and finish that because he's out of Dars position here. If you still keep trying to Dars from here and his arm is on the inside, it's not gonna be a very good Dars. Over here, look, push his head down right here, okay? You anticipate he's gonna do something with that hand, right? Which hand would you use to remove the, that hand? Pull this and drop your head from here. One. And then this elbow goes, I touch it on the mat, and then lift it. That way you'll get around that corner easier than if I'm here, like right here, it starts getting stuck. I, I understand how to adjust it, but for you guys,
until you kind of get the feel of it. Bring the elbow and shoulder down, to turn that corner, lift it up as high as you can, and then roll your wrists forward here, and then drive it chest in, and then squeeze. All right, try that one, please. So dip your left shoulder. <laughs> 